Hello, and welcome to my science project of why cats purr. So, uh, here we have Exhibit A, also known as Buckley or Baby. And, um, yeah, let's take an audio of his purring. So, yeah, let's get to it. So, now that you have heard Cat A purr, it is time to move on. So, the big question is, why cats purr? So, let's get to answering that question. So a cat's purr system is way more complex than I thought it would be. Probably more complex than you guys thought it would be. So um, here I have Ying, who's my cat. The other cat was my cousin's. But, yeah. And um, he... I'm going to show you how it purrs. So you've got the cat, right? And, like, humans have vocal cords and everything. So do they. A cat's purr starts when the cat gets pet. It triggers their pleasure pleasure centers because like humans cats have one too so here's how it all begins it starts down here where the neural oscillator is and it goes up here to the vocal cords it sends a vibration sound of the vocal cords forcing out a purr which gives out a purr and cats will purr if they're nervous scared happy hungry and a bunch of varieties that i will discuss later and so now the moment we've all been waiting for cat bees purr So the next question is, why do they purr? So cats will purr for a lot of different reasons. But let's talk about emotional purring. So cats purr if they are scared, um, happy, or even like sad. So cats purr emotionally, but they also purr if they are hungry. And some interesting facts about their purr. A cat's purr can actually heal you. If you're sick, it can physically he heal you. If you have a broken leg or something, broken bone, they can heal you. If you dislocate your shoulder, once it's put back in place, they can help with the pain. I don't know how they can do that exactly, but they can, and it's kind of cool. So, to move on, let's go on to cat C's purr. That's all the information I have on why cats purr, how they purr, and what are the effects and bonuses of their purr. Until next time, like and subscribe.